Welcome to this Solid Mastermind top tip for Solid Edge. Before we start, remember you can access many more of these great videos by registering for a free Top Tips membership over at solidmastermind.com. In this session we'll be looking at using whole tables in a Solid Edge drawing. Whole tables provide a very quick method of retrieving the attributes and position of holes on a part within a drawing view. Here we have a drawing view of a plate that contains various different types of holes. The whole table command is accessed from the tables group on the home ribbon. The command bar appears with steps for creation. The table properties command allows the content and look of the table to be defined. For now we'll leave these alone. The first step is to choose the X origin for the table, then the Y origin. Then the command bar moves onto the select hole step. Here we can simply drag a box around all the holes in the drawing view. Then to create the table we can hit the right mouse button. Each of the holes will be given a unique number and the list will record the X and Y distances from the origin. If we right click on the table and choose properties, we see the same dialog as earlier. This allows us to control what the table contains. Moving to the columns tab, we can see that we're using the hole and XY columns. We'll add one called type and then one called call out one. The call out one column will contain data which we now need to specify. Here, for the different hole types, we can retrieve any pertinent information, such as hole diameter, thread size, counterbore size, and so on. We have special characters and hole reference buttons available for this sort of information. Once we've added what we need, we can hit OK and see the updated information in the whole table. If you liked this video, please comment on it using the space below. And remember, to access many more of these great Solid Edge videos, please register for a free Top Tips membership over at solidmastermind.com.